Now, now we come to the meat of the day. Uh, we're going to ask, ask you to pitch for sessions. Uh, we have a grid, which will appear shortly, uh, showing the rooms that are available. But don't worry, if we fill that, we can find more space. What we may do is ask people to combine sessions. So if two people have similar or overlapping ideas, we will perhaps put them in together. Um, and we're going to start filling the grid out as we go. But don't take it as gospel yet, because we may have to swap some of them around to avoid clashes if people are speaking at two sessions. As I said earlier, you won't be able to go to everything you want to. So please don't ask us to start moving things if they clash and you want to attend to, because that will make it clash for somebody else. So bear that in mind. Would those of you who'd like to pitch for a session come down to the front, please? Don't all rush at once. <laughs> I've got a stopwatch on my phone. I will be making sure you don't have more than 30 seconds, and I will be very rude if you do. Repeat your name, please, and tell us what your session is. Hiya, I'm Andrew Fielding, uh, Wobbable on Twitter, again. Uh, my session is about warning and informing. I've got an idea, but I need some sort of thoughts about it, about using Twitter to kind of you have one sort of uh, account that tweets and then partner accounts, local authorities, that sort of stuff, retweeting that sort of thing. I've got a vague idea of how it could work, but really want some, some more brains to kind of add to it. Time's up. Thank you. Uh, Kate Norman, I'm wanting to talk about the art of deception and social media pros and cons. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lloyd Davis. Um, I've got um, some bits of archive film. Um, and one of them is called uh, Man on the Beat. Um, it's made in 1945 and it basically answers the question, why should we uh, trust policemen? Um, so I'm going to show that and have some discussion about that. I've also got other bits of archive film. I've got a, a, a little projector, so I'll do kind of pop-up cinema Time's wherever up we are. Thank you. Shard and fraud there. No, no. Hello, Matt Hamilton from... Uh, called Daffid Back that talked about uh, their pragmatic approach to the upcoming cookie law and I'd like to continue that uh, conversation forward. If there's anyone from Gov UK here um, please come and uh, talk about that. If not I'm happy to summarise the talk and um, talk a bit about cookies. Thank you. Uh, I'm Steph Gray. I run a platform, a, social, a software platform called The Social Simulator uh, and we're going to run a one hour simulation of what would happen in social media um, if a small town in Shropshire uh, was to have an incident. Uh, with my friends Ben and Justin to come along if you want to see how Twitter and other social media was happening in a crisis. Thank you. Oh, <clears throat> I don't really need the stage. I don't think I'm tall enough already. Um, but my name's Dan Slee from Warsaw Council. Um, I'd like to do something about um, uh, how to embed social media and digital communications in an organisation. Uh, should it be just a couple of people doing it or should it be lots and lots of people and how that might work in a crisis? Thank you. Thank you. I do need the stage because I believe I'm what they call medium height. Um, so I'm focused on internal communications at Kent Police. Uh, while the external world has gone shorthand and everybody's tweeting in 140 characters or less, we don't have anything similar internally. We find that because police organisations are quite heavy on governance and hierarchy, um, it's not quite as straightforward as just saying it's open season, blog what you want. Time's up. Thank you. <laughs> Any thoughts? Hi, I'm Farida Viz from um, Leicester University. I was the lead social media researcher on the Reading the Riots on Twitter project. Um, one of the things we looked at was the spread of rumours. This is one of the things I'm particularly interested in and the way in which emergency services can better use social media during crisis situations. So um, I'll be hosting a session using some of our data and really asking what you need from people like me to help you um, deploy social media better in crisis communication. Excellent, thank you. Can you come this way, Frida? Yeah. Have a word with David. Hi. Uh, hi, I'm Ben Proctor on Like a Word on Twitter. Um, I want to continue a conversation some of us had at the youth. There was a conversation a few of us had at UK Gov Camp about um, setting up a, a, a volunteer force that could assist online in uh, emergencies. That might be a bad idea, it might be a good idea, so we'd like to talk to people who might want to get involved, might want to use it, or might think it's rubbish. Thank you. 
Hi everyone, uh, Kerry Blayman from West Midlands Police, um, Local Policing Chief Inspector. I'm keen to explore how we use um, a, an iPhone app called Bamboozer in trying to build trust and confidence with our neighbourhoods to show people actually what's happening in their area, what the police are doing, try and expose what we the police do in terms of what we do day in day out which the public never actually see so they kind of get an idea about what we're about. It very much will be an unconference with no agenda, so I do need somebody there, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think it's probably just worth pointing out, I think bamboozer is what's being used to stream today's yes. meeting. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, Rory Gagan from Policy Exchange. Um, hopefully uh, going to run a session uh, looking at how we can use social media to um, reward good police and help um, correct those who are perhaps a little bit sort of rough around the edges. <laughs> Very diplomatically put. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, hello, I'm John Harvey. Uh, I'd like to run a session around uh, the limitations and the opportunities of using social media to help the new police crime commissioners stay in touch with the public and then, then hold their chief constables to account. So something around that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gary Hayward and that light is very, very bright. Um, I want to run a, a session on community engagement and co-production. With the, um, with the emergency services to find out how the community can be put, come part of kind of what we call the three I's, kind of inf information, intelligence and insight. Um, and that's really it. Thank you. Christine Townsend, City of London Police. I'm looking for a solution when there's a major critical reputational risk um, incident um, that covers maybe neighbouring forces or uh, similar... Um, similar forces in a result of uh, something that's maybe bordering or you have um, particularly um, difficult reputation issues um, that could impact on each other but you have the same messages. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Simon Lund from uh, Responder Network. Uh, we're trying to pull a physical and logical network of people together within the blue light services and what we class as the orange light services so that when there's an incident they can actually talk to each other and want to talk to each other. Thank you. Short and sweet. I'm Matt from Yammer, um, and it would be on the value of social networking. We don't have all the answers, but we've got some ideas and some questions. Thank you. Would anybody else like to come forward and pitch a session? We've got a few slots left. Uh, while you're thinking about whether to do that, I've got one. Um, I will start the stopwatch, to be fair. Just give me a moment. <laughs> and I'm putting it to the same value everyone else had. <laughs> You know who I am, I'm Andy Babbitt. I would like to run a session on open content. I would like to talk about putting your pictures onto Flickr, you using other people's pictures off Flickr, and how you can work with people from Wikipedia to improve, improve coverage of the service that you provide or the subjects that you deal with. And there you go, I'm under time. Uh, Matt Hamilton from NetSide again, uh, proposed another session about uh, open source and uh, sort of controlling costs. Everybody's got shrinking budget uh, using open source to redress the balance between uh, sort of client and vendor and how to get the best out of it. Okay. I'm Jeff Cart from Blue Lightworks. Um, I'd like to do a session uh, presenting on the Blue Lightworks initiative that we're doing for the Civil Contingency Secretariat, what it is, who we are, what we're doing and how you could get involved. Thank you. Hello, I'm Angus Fox from Multizone. We've built a platform for social media engagement for the police that's been rolled out in Surrey with 300 officers. We can take it national. Um, should we? Could we? Uh, it uses only open data. I'd love to get your comments on that. Thank you. Uh, you waiting? The invisible man. <laughs> Yeah, Dave Thackeray from Word and Mouth. I'd just like to talk a little bit about how we can get the community to start doing some of our work for us because it's very easy for us to preach but we don't actually know yet how to get people to do our job and to <coughs> spread the message for us. So content marketing, community marketing, getting people talking about all these great campaigns that we're doing together. Thank you. And one more. It's a bit of a different one. I'm doing a paramedic bag uh, for paramedics specifically, um, and it'd be mo modular. And I want to talk about the design of that and how that can be implemented. It's kind of different to social media, I know. That's um, fine. Yeah. Sorry, what? Bag. Um, it would be primarily a primary primary swans back, um, so it would uh, be modular treatment packs, 
um, that is taken onto the scene and we'll talk about the design of that. Okay, thank you. One last shout. Is there anybody who's thinking they might do a session and not sure about coming forward? Do we no? get a chance later? Yeah. We, can, we can always add stuff in later. If you speak to me or Dave, we can slot stuff in. There will be some free rooms. If you meet a couple of people and you've got something in common you want to talk about, just find yourself a corner of a room somewhere. Uh, use the refreshment and exhibition area upstairs. Um, if you just meet people in a session and at the end of the uh, hour-long slot you find that you've, st you've still got stuff to talk about, go and find a space and talk. This is your day. You use the time and space however you see fit. We're just simply trying to help you do that. <coughs> If you give us five minutes now, we will shuffle all these up to make best use of the time in the rooms, have fewer going across and more going down, so you'll be able to get to more sessions, uh, and then we'll let you know when this is finished, and you can either have a look at this, or we will be tweeting a screenshot of it, so if you're following the hashtag, BLCamp, then you'll be able to get it on your mobile device or on your laptop uh, and refer to it during the day. Do check back or listen for announcements in case things have changed, though.